Wednesday, August the 4th. Although there has been some really negative news between Thailand and Cambodia, that was a positive uh, sign from the advisor to the King of Cambodia today. After Phnom Penh Post reported that this advisor has sent a letter to the Thai Prime Minister. I understand that the Kunapisit said he actually got that letter. He he said he was aware mm -hmm. of the letter mm -hmm. that had, uh, apparently was sent to the, the Thai government uh, yesterday. Uh -huh. uh, and it was a mixed message. Mm -hmm. On one hand, this uh, the advisor to the Prince of uh, no sorry uh, to the ki to the King of Cambodia. Uh, it was said that raising territorial claims mm -hmm. is futile um, mm -hmm. because that flies in the face of history. Uh, meaning that the Cambodia Thailand are, to in, stop uh, mm -hmm. talking about territorial uh, claims because mm -hmm. it's uh, making no um, benefit to Thailand. Yeah, uh -huh. means but the case is closed. So yes, right. the case is closed for Thailand uh -huh. when it comes to territory. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, this message from the advisor to the uh, Cambodian king also said that it's my dearest wish mm -hmm. to see uh, Prabhi Han as the standing symbol of reconciliation. I, I see that as a very positive uh, yes. statement, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I think this coming from the palace is a signal that we should look into the future mm -hmm. and consider Prabhihan Temple the symbol of reconciliation rather than conflict. Also, it's also the word harmony is, is also used in yes. this message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But okay, uh, Kun Apisit also responded to this uh, message today, and um, it's not that positive. I think it's quite political. I think it's political. Is too political about everything. Yes. In in fact, he should have considered this a uh, positive message from the palace, mm -hmm. and he should you know, draw the distinction between Hun Sen, the government, the political uh, agenda, and the palace uh, agenda. Yes. Mm -hmm. And even even the Cambodian government is quite uh, reconsidering. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yesterday, Hun Sen uh, came out and said that you have nothing to worry about in, when it comes to the border mm -hmm. tension. Or anything. Really? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what did Kuna uh, Pisit say? Uh, essentially, he said that uh, um, Cambodia first have to um, recognize that uh, going it alone is not going to work. <laughs> which means that um, Thailand still want to do it uh, on the bilateral um, mm -hmm. basis. Joint, joint listing. Joint listing mm -hmm. and joint management mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that can be discussed. Yes, because first, Kunapisit should have welcomed the statement from the advisor to the king of Cambodia saying, yes, we think Kaupra should be the symbol of harmony and reconciliation. Yes, then taking the next step, then you can talk about joint listing. <laughs> but it's easier for Cambodia because uh, there's no politics in Cambodia at the moment. <laughs> no election coming yeah. uh, very soon after this. Uh -huh. But Kunabisit is facing um, a protest on August 7th, uh, a few days a few days away. Yes, uh, yes. By, by uh, Kun Vira Song Kwam Kit, wow. who's planning to organize quite a big protest at government house. Well, that is a nationalist card that the critics are playing. Kunapisi has a few more cards to play with. On the one hand, he can say he is sympathetic with the nationalist feelings. At the same time, as the leader, he should also tell the people that I will do everything possible to make sure that the conflict will not get carried away or mm -hmm. out of control. Mm -hmm. And by responding positively to the advisor to the King of Cambodia, I think he would you know, be seen as a diplomat because mm -hmm. he's always been too political. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know that perhaps on some occasions he should be a good diplomat. Yes, mm -hmm. and hopefully Cambodia will understand that what Kunabis said today was uh, he and was meant he was meant for the uh, domestic <laughs> consumption. <laughs> well, we say we sometimes we say that about Hun Sen. <laughs> yes, of course. That uh, he is angry, he's aggressive because he has to address the domestic political agenda. Mm -hmm. So we hope that at least the, the positive statement from the advisor to the King of Cambodia will at least give the Thai government some breathing space. And perhaps they could uh, 
have some contact that would leave politics alone and raise the level of uh, the issue to a level that could be more uh, cordial and reconciliation is a possibility. I hope so at least.